hurricane barrel sweeping through the Caribbean and roaring by Jamaica. Unfortunately, at least half a dozen people have died. <laughs> Hundreds of Russian soldiers are reportedly surrounded in Ukraine as both sides blitz each other's energy infrastructure. America has said it is fast tracking Patriot missiles to Ukraine. The money that we're spending on this war. Zelensky comes to this country, he walks away with $60 billion. He's the greatest salesman ever. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Currency Wizard. Today, we're diving into an incredibly relevant topic. How do current events shape our economy? From geopolitical tensions to environmental changes, every headline you read has the potential to sway economic stability. So let's break it down and see exactly how this happens. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our analysis. When there's instability in any part of the world, whether it's political unrest, wars, or changing governments, it can lead to significant economic shifts. For example, consider the impact of trade sanctions or tariffs. These not only affect the countries directly involved, but can also alter global trade routes, impact commodity prices, and shift investment flows. Major policy announcements, like changes in interest rates by the Federal Reserve, can influence economic growth immediately. These policies can affect everything from personal loans and mortgage rates to the borrowing costs for large corporations, thus influencing the broader economy. Natural disasters and pandemics are another prime example of current events impacting the economy. The recent global pandemic taught us how interconnected our economies are. Regardless of how you may feel about government shutdowns, it's leading to a decrease in consumer spending, disruptions in supply chains, and ultimately a global economic downturn. Now let's dive into a lesser known but critical aspect of economic dynamics. When large sums of money are sent abroad, whether through government aid, remittances, or other financial transactions, it can have significant effects back home. Sending money abroad effectively reduces the domestic money supply. However, if this outflow is compensated by the central bank printing more money to maintain liquidity, it can lead to inflation. Moreover, when money is sent to developing countries, it can boost their economic activity and demand for imports, which in turn can lead to a rise in global commodity prices, affecting inflation worldwide. So the interconnection between remittances and inflation is a global affair. It's also interesting to note that remittances can have a Dutch disease effect, whereas a country receiving substantial amounts from abroad become less competitive in other economic sectors, potentially leading to further economic imbalances and inflationary pressures. This dynamic shows how interconnected our global economy is and why economic policies in one country can ripple across the world. It's a fascinating, complex web of transactions and consequences. But it's not all negative. Positive current events can boost the economy too. Technological advancements, for instance, open up new markets and opportunities. The rise of digital payment platforms and e-commerce are perfect examples of this. These innovations can lead to job creation, increased efficiency, and even open up entirely new industries. To understand the influence of current events on the economy, it's crucial to keep informed and analyze how these events might affect different sectors, whether you're an investor, a business owner, or just trying to manage your personal finances. Staying updated with global events can help you make better decisions. Thanks for watching. What recent event do you think will have the biggest impact on our economy? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, keep your finances sharp and your mind sharper.